started from Chennai and this is the uh, tempo traveler in which we are traveling to Kodanada and we have just finished our uh, dinner out here and it will be an overnight journey of uh, close to 10 hours and we will be reaching Kodanada in the early morning uh, after the sunrise so we can catch up there and we are like about uh, 12 people inside the van and we also have a special traveler with us her name is Ninja, it's a traveling dog we will know more about her during the, these two days she is Ninja, the traveling dog who is traveling with us. Let's get into the van. Guys, tell a hi or something. So I'm just doing a log. Thanks now. So, Kudan driver, Anna. Anna, your name? Kermal. Kermal, okay. So, Ninja. Hey, Ninja. Hey, Ninja. She went to Cochin, from Cochin she went to Munnar, from Munnar she went to uh, Bangalore and from Bangalore she went to Goa, from Goa she went to Mangalore, from Mangalore she went to Chennai and from Chennai she went to Oruwai <laughs> and from Oruwai she is in Chennai now with me for a long time and she is going to UK next month. <laughs> so she has been adopted by my boyfriend actually, so my boyfriend is uh, English. Uh, he, Oh, I'm going to go to Pumba and 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 go to Pumba. So we went to Pumba with him and then uh, like in Pumba, uh, Bhavan was teaching us astro photography, sorry, night sky photography, okay? And he got inspired, Pumba got inspired and he got a tripod, he got a, like a proper phone where he can capture night sky and all that. He started doing night sky photography. Uh, so yeah, in Kodanar, I think he's been like capturing all night skies yes, and all that. Yes, he's got his uh, tripod as well. Wow. Last time when he came home, next day he went to Snow and he tried light painting. Light now. painting. So there's oh. a photography called light yeah. painting. Yeah. So he did light painting oh, and man. night sky. He sent me and asked, asked for my opinion. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Light yeah. 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 Thank you, Karamal, for driving us. Like lettering and all that. am on Saturday and uh, after a long journey now we have reached Kotagiri and uh, Kodanad is about 15 kilometers from here and this is where we have stopped for the short tea coffee break and also a loo break and from here we will be uh, traveling for another 15 uh, uh, kilometers and we'll be having our breakfast and then reach the, uh, uh, the camp point. had our breakfast and uh, uh, they have plain dosa, egg dosa, all the egg varieties like the half boil, full boil and also a tasty chutneys and samba and it costs very less. The plain dosa is just 10 and the egg dosa is 20 and this is a good spot to have breakfast and we'll head back to our van uh, out there. So we are at the campsite now. Uh, let's have a look at this. So what you see behind me is the tree house and uh, down there uh, you can see that is the restroom and there are like uh, like six restrooms totally for men and women three plus three and uh, further down there you can see the tents the green and the blue pink ones and uh, there, there are capacities of three four uh, it's, it's a mix of that and uh, out there we have uh, the dining area as well as the kitchen we'll have a look at there and have a quick talk with the person who is managing all this this is the dining area. You can see a lot of tired faces waiting for lunch. So 
after heavy lunch we have come and start working and uh, so so as you can see ninja is leading the pack but milk tea also you want to do means you can both should be separately heated first you can boil water with the tea leaves sugar then you can per kg around about it is 8000 rupees <laughs> has become a photo spot for many of us this is one dense forest experts are saying giant squirrel will come at this time so we just came out of the uh, forest uh, that you see behind us uh, and now what you see here is a farmland and people here say that uh, wild animals come here and that's why they have this uh, electric fence all around i'll just sh show it to you so you can see th these are like uh, uh, electric fence that they have put so you can see here as well all these fences have uh, electric lines uh, uh, which they connect to the circuit in the night uh, that's when the wild animals come here This is uh, <laughs> we are back to the campsite and the tea is being served out there and uh, the photographers out there have started shooting the night sky <laughs> அவங்களுக்கு <laughs> 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 